everyone, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com and today's video is going to be a vlog style video where I'm going to take you along as we get 100 new baby chicks. Alright, so we are at the post office, so I'm going to go head on in and get the box of chicks. They called me earlier this morning to let me know they were in, so as soon as we could, we left to go get them. And now I'm going to go grab them. Pick them up, and we're going to take them home. Each one's beak into water and then show them the food and then let them go under the heat to start getting warmed up. We also count them as you eat us. Drop them, okay? They're always so thirsty after their long trip through the mail. We put some feed on a paper at first with some sand sprinkled over the top to give them some easy access to feed and grit, and then they have feeders with feed in it and then water. We also put a splash of raw apple cider vinegar into their water to give them some probiotics and it just gives them a healthy boost. We have a little thermometer that has an outside section that we keep here in the brooder and then it connects to an inside thermometer part that tells us what the temperature of the brooder is so then that way we can keep an eye on it all the time and make sure that they're always warm enough. The feed that we feed them is some that we get. We drive over to Nebraska and buy it in bulk. It's non-corn, non-soy, GMO-free, certified organic feed. And we've been happy with that. While they're spending time in the brood or two, after they're settled in, after the first couple of days, we'll give them, um, the kids like to pick grass and dandelions and things, and we'll give them that to eat so they can start getting used to forage and enjoying that. Here are the laying hens out enjoying some free ranging time. Not much has really started blooming or leaking out here yet. It always takes a while for that to start around here. It's early April, so hopefully that'll start here soon. These guys will be in the brooder here for three weeks. They grow very fast, and after three weeks, we will take them out to the pasture, where they'll be moved to fresh grass daily for the rest of the time. So I'll take you along as we raise them and show you each step in the process. I'll also give little updates to show how they're growing and all that. So I hope that you enjoyed seeing us getting them on their first day here with us. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. 
share it with anybody else you think would like it. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out two videos every week on nourishing recipes and natural living. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.